Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rider Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I hope this video finds you well and I hope you're all keeping safe. So today we're gonna to be talking about a brand new brand. This brand just came out this year in 2021. It's called Kanoj Perfumery. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on Amber Rose from this brand, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Amber Rose by Kanoj Perfumery and I tell you all about this fragrance, what I get from the smell, the performance, longevity, projection, so on and so forth, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And of course, if you can click on that bell icon to enable notifications and like this video if you like it, that would really mean a lot to me. So the creative director and the founder of this brand, Mohit, he's actually from India and Kanoj is a city in India. So with this brand, Kanoj Perfumery, there are a lot of natural ingredients being used and when you look at the note breakdown there's everything from amber to rose hindi oud cambodian oud there's geranium in here it's a very sort of exotic and eastern type of a dna and it's personally the type of fragrance that you don't want to wear <laughs> in the summertime you want to wait until the weather gets a little bit cold out there because the amber is going to get you noticed the rose that's in here is going to get you noticed uh, which is taif rose and and also the spices like the saffron is certainly gonna get you noticed. And I know the price is in the vein of like 270 something dollars American. When I checked out the website today, which I think is perfumery.co.in, it's actually selling for like 130 something dollars. And so I think that that's a very good deal given the concentration and also how strong this perfume is and the abundance of natural ingredients in here. So I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance. Let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you can tell that this is going to be an oud and rose composition. The oud comes across loud and clear, and let me just say this. Aficionados of oud don't want a clean, soapy oud. They want something that's rough around the edges, something that smells animalic, something with a bit of that barnyard quality, and that's the kind of oud that you're gonna get in here. Now, you are going to get a combination of Cambodian oud and Hindi oud, but you also have that Taif rose melded together with the geranium, which also adds a little bit of a rosy vibe, but it also has a minty presence as well. So you have this rosy oud fragrance that doesn't smell like every other oud rose fragrance on the market, and a touch of that saffron in the opening to really spice things up. Now, of course, amber is in the name. So what is amber? You're going to get some resins. You're going to get balsamic richness. You might even get a little bit of vanilla in the base just to keep it a little sweet so it doesn't smell too medicinal or too sharp or too rough around the edges. So it has this smoothness in the dry down, but you are going to get this balsamic incense rich richness. And I personally pick up on labdanum and benzoin, and I think that there are a lot of resins sort of working their magic in the base to really constitute that amber accord that's in here. So this is a rather linear fragrance. I don't think it changes too much. There isn't a ton of citrus in the opening, you know, transitioning into a ton of floral ingredients. You just have the taif rose, you have the geranium, no citrus to speak of. And then you also have a ton of base notes. And I think that despite its um, linearity, there's still complexity in here because it's not just one oud ingredient or one rose ingredient or one balsamic ingredient con contributing to the amber base. There's actually a bunch of ingredients coalescing and working their magic in harmony to create that overall vibe. And so the best way that I can describe the transition that I sense from this fragrance, from the opening spray, you're gonna get all of the ingredients at once 
but then over the course of time, certain ingredients will subside. And so in the opening, you get most of the saffron. So saffron and amber, you pick up on something a little sweet and balsamic in this fragrance, resinous. At times, it seems like the vanilla goes up and the rose, which was a little bit minty in the opening on account of the geranium, the mintiness dries down and then you have like this really sensual exotic rose ingredient and then the smoke and the oud which was a little faint in the opening starts to come out because it's not obscured by those other notes that preceded it or were in front of it uh, in terms of the order in which they strike your um, olfactory receptor so linear but still complex and i really like this fragrance if you are looking for something unapologetic, something incredibly long lasting, something that utilizes natural ingredients, something that I think gives off this very exotic Middle Eastern type of a vibe, Amber Rose by Kanoj Perfumery, I think is an awesome fragrance. I would certainly recommend that you get your nose on this one. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, Listen, it's kind of difficult because there are so many Oud Rose fragrances on the market and sometimes those Oud Rose fragrances will try to do things a little differently by adding honey or adding saffron or cardamom or nutmeg or some other spice, but I enjoy what this fragrance does by adding the geranium, adding two varieties of Oud, adding a bunch of balsamic ingredients in the base to sort of create that complexity despite the fact that you will get this linear composition. Overall smell, you have to be an aficionado of scent. You have to be a connoisseur of niche perfumes to really appreciate the beauty of this one because this fragrance is quite bold. It's a little bit on the challenging side. It is certainly animalic, but if you like to stand out, if you wanna stand apart, if you don't wanna smell like anybody else and you like ingredients of oud and rose and you've smelled natural oud, I would certainly recommend that you check this one out because it will give you that animalic quality that you're looking for. If indeed you are a fan of those types of oud fragrances. Longevity on this one, 12 plus hours. Projection way beyond an arm's length with just two or three sprays, and that is gonna last for two to three hours. Didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that eight to 10 hour mark. Incredible performance from this one. One of the longest lasting fragrances in my collection. In terms of the versatility, I wouldn't wear this one in the hotter weather, and I think this one gives more of a formal vibe, and so I probably wouldn't wear this in hot weather and casually, and I think this one is limited for connoisseurs of scent. And so if you love perfumes, if you love niche and indie perfumes, you want something that definitely conveys quality, the beauty of the presentation, just everything about it, I think that this is an awesome fragrance. My final verdict on this fragrance is listen, if you are looking for something that is complex, bass heavy, you like notes of oud, rose, amber, spices like saffron, geranium, please check this fragrance out. I think this one is going to really open up your eyes and nostrils in terms of discovering the rather complex fragrances on the market that you will certainly not get in a designer level fragrance because this one pushes the boundaries a little bit. It dares to do things differently and I'm a fan of Amber Rose and I'm gonna be wearing this one in the autumn and winter. If it's really, really cold outside, count me in. I'm gonna definitely play around with this one a little bit more. And I also have a fragrance called Muskood by this brand that I look forward to reviewing in the future as well. So there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for joining me. That was my fragrance review of Amber Rose by Kanoj Perfumery. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, if you're new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Of course, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell and make sure to like this video if you like this type of content. Thanks again. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.